For NJ Advance Media, I'm Connor Hughes. Well, the first quarter of the 2016 season certainly hasn't gone as the Jets would have liked. They've dropped three of their first four games. Quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick has thrown 10 interceptions during that stretch. And the secondary, well, the secondary just can't stop anybody. Because of this, and the fact Tom Brady returns to the Patriots next week, it's a little hard to view the Jets as a realistic contender to win an AFC East title. However, that doesn't mean they can't make the playoffs with a wild card spot. However, that situation is beginning to look awfully grim too. See, the AFC North and the AFC West have three very, very good teams in each that are surging as the Jets are slumping. In the West, you've got the division favorite Broncos, followed by the Kansas City Chiefs, who have a game up on the Jets because they beat them, and the young, hungry, talented Oakland Raiders. In the AFC North, you have the division favorite Steelers, who the Jets play this week, followed by the Bengals, who have a game up on the Jets, then the Baltimore Ravens, who are sitting at 3-1. and one. As I mentioned, the Jets are already a game behind in the head-to-head -head battle between the Bengals and the Chiefs. They've got this game this week against the Steelers, and in two weeks, they will play the Baltimore Ravens. Basically, the Jets are approaching do-or-die time when they face these teams because the fact that they're already behind in the win-loss column, now they're threatening to be behind in the head-to-head -head matchups too, certainly doesn't bode well come the end of the season. Yes, the Jets, the Jets schedule gets significantly easier after these two games against the Steelers and then the Cardinals, but those games are not gimmies. So basically what you're going to have to ask the Jets to do is go 9-1, and 8-2 and two the rest of this way in order to have a legitimate shot at the playoffs. But that's then going to need help because you're going to have to be chasing teams that already have a two or a three game lead on you. Now, again, this is not to sound grim. This is not to be a Debbie Downer. But basically what we're looking at is a situation where the Jets have to turn it on now. The Jets cannot afford any more losses right out of the gate. They cannot be in a situation come before Halloween where they are sitting at one and six. Because if they are one and five or one and six. Because if they are, well... It, yeah, it could only be October, but the Jets' season would all but be over. For NJ Vance Media, I'm Connor Hughes.